Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on August 17th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a quick video update here as this is getting out of hand as we have multiple wildfires breaking out across southern BC right now and as well the Washington border, border the United States. Look at all those hot spots overnight. And then, of course, all of the valleys of British Columbia right now being inundated by wildfire smoke as visible here on satellite imagery. This is College DuPage looking at live satellite imagery today showing hot spots and flaring regions. And look what happens here at an area south of Kelowna, a place called Coston, British Columbia. It looks to be about the region. That is a massive fire. Look how big that billow of smoke was casting a mass shadow across the already thick layered wildfire smoke so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by this wildfire situation through bc i'm sure that there are going to be states of emergency declared here over the next 24 to 36 hours as these might grow in intensity Stay tuned to the weather. Having a look at Google Earth, this is about where the fire is occurring. Coston, British Columbia, just south of Kelowna there. Looks to be about the region of this massive fire, but that is just one of over 100 fires that have broken out across southern BC, Idaho, uh, Montana, and as well Oregon. Got wildfire smoke pouring out into the East Pacific right now and wildfire smoke pouring across the Pacific Northwest and into the Canadian prairies. Look at all these fires breaking out. This is all satellite imagery from today. Calgary, Edmonton already seeing thick layers of wildfire smoke and that is going to be sweeping across, as, as I said, Canadian prairies and the United States. Looking at satellite imagery, noticed something strange here across the East Pacific upper atmosphere here. Notice the uh, little lines that are occurring in the clouds. Oh yeah, jet streams just running north and south and east and west. What are they playing tic-tac-toe up there with their planes and their boats? I don't know what's going on, but what just happened? Looking at satellite imagery from today and as well overnight last night. Interesting images here across the East Pacific. I've seen it a few times before. But when there are wildfires that are burning straight across the Pacific Northwest and as well Western Canada, up into Alaska, Yukon, A lot of this wildfire smoke is sweeping south towards the equator now with these massive cold fronts that are coming through. Immense amounts of cloud cover now with all of this wildfire smoke. And I mean, Canada is not the only one suffering right now. Russia, eastern Russia, they've seen a massive wildfires as well. Parts of the United States, southern United States, Florida reporting wildfires, Georgia, Arkansas. And apparently we've, re we've recorded that the hottest year on the planet in our Earth's recorded history. Apparently. What's going to happen after all of the cosmic rays are being blocked by wildfire smoke, volcanic ash, and whatever else is up in our atmosphere and stratosphere being injected. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by these wildfires. This is quite a situation. And watch for the intensity of these SO2 models to change. Having a look here at the latest models, you can see large plume coming off of Alaska and as well parts of the Yukon. And that is going to slowly creep 
as shown satellite imagery is creeping across Canada. Got SO2 pluming from Kilauea, SO2 pluming from Kamchatka, SO2 pluming from an island somewhere in the Marianas Trench, Guam area. All the volcanoes throughout Guatemala and northward into Mexico, Popocatépetl. Our air quality, I do believe, is about to get a lot worse over this next little while. And I'm talking over the fi next five to ten years. And this is why our governments want to get a hold and in control of the situation and the people before it becomes irreversible. These are SO2 models and I will be sharing again tomorrow as I'm sure that these will change a bit. But I also wanted to show you in comparison because this weekend we'll be giving a volcanic activity report, a report on every erupting volcano across the world. And right now there are about 48 of them. As opposed to the 25 to 30 that are on average. And that's how many I started reporting back in 2017. But now we've been up in over double the amount of the average erupting volcanoes. Quick look here at CO2 versus SO2. As you can see, a lot of CO2 is being produced. High intensity from the wildfires in Northwest Territories, Northern Alberta. But as well, all across the southeastern United States, very highly populated part of the United States. And as well, here are wildfire hotspots and intensities. Yellow being the lightest intensity and red being the most intensity, as you can see across Russia. And as well, North America seems to be the same kind of pattern right now boundary lines of the Pacific Rim, the Pacific Ring of Fire. So heads up everybody, stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here, but we need to be aware of our earthly situations. Current look here over BC, everybody thoughts and prayers going out to everyone affected. Much love and I hope you enjoyed today's update some interesting things and daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.